Uh, thank you, organizers. Uh, today I'm talking about our work on RNA confirmation sampling. Uh, here's the outline of my work today. Uh, first is our motivation, and uh, then our method is called the uh, tree folder. Our method is, is uh, consists by two parts. First is a conditional random fields model, and uh, uh, a tree guided sampling algorithm uh, for RNA confirmation sampling. And then we'll talk about our uh, results. And we compare our uh, compare our methods with two states of ours methods, uh, FANA, which is part of Rosetta, and uh, another method is uh, Barnacle. And last, I will uh, talk about uh, our future work and uh, possibly uh, improvement. Uh, we do this problem because uh, RNA tertiary structure are very important and uh, hard to obtain. Uh, tertiary structures are more informative than secondary structure. Uh, we can see that from this picture, and even uh, we know even we know the secondary structure of TRA. Uh, it, uh, we don't know the uh, secondary how the the, uh, the tertiary structure looks like. Uh, it is a very uh, challenging problem in computation. Uh, first, we don't know uh, precise energy function of RNA uh, tertiary structure. And uh, uh, there's a large uh, confirmation space. Uh, we need a fast algorithm to sample the confirmation from the confirmation space. Before we use any uh, mathematical methods, we should uh, describe the practical problem by some uh, vectors, matrices. And <coughs> see this picture. Uh, this picture shows the confirmation of two nucleotides. And actually, there are seven free rotating torsions along the backbone, uh, which is indicated by alpha, beta, gamma, theta, epsilon, uh, delta, and uh, chi. Uh, the chi is on the torsion connecting a sugar ring to the base. Um, for simplification, we add uh, two pseudo bounds uh, from state four atom of state four prime to p, and from p to state four prime. Uh, uh, then we use uh, five uh, five angles to represent each confirmation of one nucleotide, uh, which are uh, tau one, uh, which is a um, which is a torsion along the uh, first uh, pseudo pseudo bound, and tau two is a uh, torsion angle on the second pseudo bound, and uh, uh, and the theta. Uh, uh, theta phi are two planar angles between two pseudo bounds, uh, plus alpha, which is a, a torsion angle on the uh, on the real bound from O5 prime to P. These angles are not independent. Uh, actually, they are grouped into several groups in the uh, in their space. Uh, we can see that uh, in the uh, plane of alpha and tau one, so um, they are grouped into approximately mainly. Uh, two groups and uh, um, in the space of alpha and uh, tau two, and uh, there are mainly three groups. Uh, we should note that uh, the angle of uh, chi, uh, which forms a very sharp normal distribution, so we can use a very, uh, we can use even use a constant value to describe the value of chi. Uh, with this observation, uh, we abstract this uh, uh, angle vector space by uh, this concept of a confirmation state. So in detail, we cluster all the torsion vectors into 50 clusters. So these torsion vectors are extracted from all known structures of RNA structures. And for each cluster, uh, we use a Gaussian distribution to model the data inside this cluster. And uh, the confirmation states are indexed, uh, indexed from uh, 1 to uh, 50. And for each confirmation state, uh, we can sample real value torsion vectors from its associated Gaussian distribution. Uh, then we can use a sequence of confirmation states to model a whole RNA structure. Uh, with a co confirmation state, which uh, described the uh, uh, discretized the value. Uh, we define our uh, conditional random fields, uh, which 
actually a probability uh, of one of a sequence of confirmation states uh, conditioned on the RNA feature. The RNA feature includes two parts. Uh, first is uh, the sequence profile. Uh, it tells us uh, what uh, nucleotide, uh, nucleotide type at each position. And the uh, secondary structure. Uh, this secondary structure can be the secondary structure probability for each, uh, for each position on the RNA. <coughs> and uh, as a graph model, uh, conditioned random fields uh, describe those relationship between uh, uh, between several variables. Uh, here are the variables uh, of RNA feature. Uh, like we as we said, it's a sequence profile, secondary structure, and uh, those variables uh, are the confirmation state states at uh, each position. So the relationship uh, there are two kinds of relationship in uh, in conditional random fields. First is uh, is so-called local potential. Local potential describes the relationship between RNA feature and uh, the confirmation state at uh, this position. Another relationship described by a uh, conditional random fields are the transition, uh, transi uh, the transition <coughs> potential. Uh, that describe how uh, one confirmation state decides uh, the confirmation state at next position. Uh, this is also called um, uh, first order condition random fields. Uh, to increase uh, uh, the capability of the random uh, random fields, uh, we introduce the second order condition random fields. Uh, it is very similar to ordinary uh, condition random fields. Uh, the only difference is that we combine uh, two neighbored to neighbor the position into one big node here. So one node here describe the confirmation state uh, of two neighbor position as before. Then the number of confirmation state at each position is squared uh, as before. Uh, this is how we train our uh, CRF model. Uh, we use a data set called uh, DARTS which contain 94 representative RNA structures. And uh, 11 of these RNA, RNA structures are used for testing, so we exclude them from our training data. Uh, finally, we have 83 structures in our training data set. And we also choose our uh, regularization factors to prevent our model from overfitting. And we also choose the number of states and uh, sliding window size. Uh, this is the energy function we use in our method. Uh, it is the same with the energy function used by Barnacle. The energy function is very simple. It's defined on base pairing information. Uh, for example, if we are given a secondary structure of RNA, here are uh, totally six base pairs. And for each base pair, uh, for example, GC, uh, we have two uh, we have two atoms of the hydro of the expected hydrogen bond. So in the uh, confirmation generated by our algorithm, we can compute the distance between the two atoms of the expected uh, uh, hydrogen bonds. So when this confirmation is very close or is very consistent with its secondary structure, this distance should be very close to the average hydrogen bond length of the same type. Here is the GC. Then our energy function is defined on the uh, uh, average square uh, average square root of the difference from the states uh, from the distance uh, in the generated confirmation and uh, those distance uh, from uh, those distance of average hydrogen bond length. With the energy function and uh, the probability distribution defined by our conditional random fields model, we can do confirmation sampling. It uh, basically contains uh, four steps. First, we pick a segment from a given RNA sequence, and we sample confirmation states and uh, torsion, uh, torsion vectors from the uh, for for the segment we picked. And uh, th this sampling process can uh, can be done from. Uh, run some sampling method from the probability defined by CRF model. 
then we decide whether this new confirmation uh, should be kept accord according to its energy value and the uh, steady clashes. The steady uh, clashes means two atoms uh, occupied in the same uh, position, which is unphysical. And uh, we, we repeat the three steps until the energy function of the confirmation converges at a low value. Uh, the key point is uh, how we avoid as, mar uh, as many steric clashes confirmation as possible. Uh, here we propose a tree-guided structure sampling. Uh, since random select segment will lead to many steric clashes, and uh, we, uh, our, our tree-guided structure sampling can avoid many uh, steric clashes. Here is how we do. We first build a tree from the sampling structures of, a, um, of the given RNA. Then we associate each segment on this RNA uh, to one node of the segment structure tree. Then we select uh, the segment from the bottom of the tree to the uh, to the root of the tree. That is an example. Uh, <coughs> here is a, a secondary structure of RNA, and we can see that the yellow base pairings are uh, outside base pairs, and the, the green and yellow uh, base pairs are inside ones. And uh, we first sample the segments corresponding to the uh, to the base pairing uh, to the green base pairs, and uh, uh, then the seg then the segments uh, corresponding to uh, red ones. Uh, finally, we sample the uh, segments corresponding to um, the the yellow one, and uh, this segment structure is uh, can be described uh, can be described. Uh, uh, by this, by this tree. So we, we sample uh, the segments associated uh, with the leaf of the tree first, then uh, going up to the root of the tree. So this uh, tree-guided structure sampling uh, has an advantage that uh, at each step, like uh, we we sample this uh, segment, we sample the confirmation of this segment. Uh, we can only optimize the uh, energy function uh, associated with those two base pairs. Then, after this uh, part of confirmation has been optimized, uh, we we can uh, get part of the energy uh, optimized. Then, after uh, we go to uh, uh, after we uh, go on and uh, the optimizing. Uh, uh, the optimizing other part of confirmation will not affect the confirmation we have uh, we have done before. Uh, we compare our methods with two state of methods, uh, Barnacle and Fauna. Uh, Barnacle is a method uh, use a dynamic Bayesian network. Uh, it uh, make no use uh, sequ sequence uh, se sequence information. Uh, our methods use a conditioned random fields model, uh, which can include many uh, sequence, uh, sequence information. And uh, uh, we are better uh, than Barnacle on 8 out of 10 RNAs, and which, uh, and which achieve uh, averagely 9% smaller RMSD on the fifth best dequad. Uh, that means we generate a uh, bunch of dequads and we uh, pick the 50. Uh, the fifth, uh, the fifth percentile best dequires and compute its RMSD value. And we also compare with our, uh, we also compare our methods with uh, Fana, which are part of Rosetta. Uh, Fana uses a fragment library and uh, it uses a um, uh, quite complex uh, geometric energy function. Uh, we only use a, a simple energy function uh, uh, as much as the uh, secondary structure information. Uh, we are better than Fana on uh, 9 out of the 11 RNAs and achieve uh, averagely 7% uh, small, uh, smaller RMSD uh, in terms of the best cluster uh, centric. Uh, besides those statistic, uh, statistical results, uh, we are wondering uh, our sampling real value angles uh, help uh, contribute to the improvement. Uh, here, uh, we perform a detailed analysis of RNA one ESY, and we generate uh, 3,000 dequires from our methods and uh, from the method of Fana, respectively. 
And uh, this, uh, we can see that our distribution is uh, better than uh, the distribution of FANAR. Um, and we look into uh, the local uh, structure quality. That means uh, we cut only one segment from the RNA and uh, compare the RMSD value from the, from the DQI uh, to its native structure. We find that uh, the segment at the position 13 is most correlated with the global RMSD value. Then we draw the arrow distribution of the angle of the angle vector at uh, position 13. We found that uh, the uh, the arrow distribution from our methods form the very smooth distribution, and the arrow uh, from uh, the arrow the area distribution from FANA uh, from the multiple peaks. Um, it, sh it means uh, in the optimi in optimizing conformation, uh, FANA uh, got many decoys false to local minimal. Uh, we believe this is uh, from the fragment library used by FANA. Uh, no matter how the fragment library, uh, how large the fragment library is, uh, it is still uh, it cannot cover all the uh, possible angle. Uh, in the in all possible uh, in, in in the whole space. Uh, our future our future work includes to make use more information in our uh, conditional random field model. Maybe you can introduce the uh, sequence profile as the uh, RAS feature. And uh, we also want to use our physical energy other than simple uh, secondary structure information. Uh, we also maybe use a secondary structure prediction model instead of uh, uh, the given secondary structure. Uh, maybe incorporate uh, IP nodes uh, proposed by uh, Sata, Dr. Sata. And uh, well, another uh, issue is uh, we have to uh, so uh, we have we have to fold large RNA molecules. Now it's a problem since it makes you uh, it's quite uh, time uh, it. it it's quite slow in uh, folding large RNA molecules. In the summary, is, um, we represent our confirmation uh, by angle vectors. We build the conditional random fields over the space of confirmation state. We use the energy function as simple as base pairing information. And we propose a tree guided algorithm uh, for efficient uh, confirmation sampling. Uh, actually, uh, thanks for. Uh, my collaborators, Yan Peng and uh, Feng Zhao from TTI, and uh, all the grants to my advisor, and uh, the travel fellowship awarded by ISCB. Uh, thank you very much. <laughs>